Okay, we will review how the plugin GIF Wishlist works and its main features. This plugin allows your customers to save their favorite products in a list. To do this, the plugin will add a link or button inside the product page, just how we can see over here. And if we click on it, the product will be added directly to the wishlist. Let's see, let's click. And we're going to see this message, product added, and also we're going to find this link so we can browse the wishlist. Let's see. This is what the users will find, a table with the details of all the products they have added to their wishlist. Of course, through the plugin options, it is also possible to customize which information to show in this table, but we're going to see that in just one moment. Now, in this case, this is a specific page the plugin includes by default. But if you also have our plugin GIF Customize My Account page, thanks to the integration with GIF Wishlist, it is also possible to show a specific wishlist endpoint inside the user's My Account page. As we do have both plugins available here in our installation, let's go for a moment to My Account to show you. Here, if we scroll down, we're going to find among the available endpoints this one, My Wishlist. And as you can see, it will have the exact same information we have seen in the default wishlist page. Now, let's go to our plugin panel so we can review the options available. First, let's focus on the Add to Wishlist Options tab. Here, you can find all the options to customize the wishlist functionality. For example, if we take a look at the loop settings, you will be able to decide whether or not to show the Add to Wishlist option also in loop. So, this means on the shop pages, category pages, and so on. If we enable this option, we can of course decide the position of the Add to Wishlist. For example, either on top of the image, before or after the Add to Cart button, or use a shortcode. For this example, let's go ahead and select on top of the image, and to see the result, we can save the options, and we will go back to our site. Now, let's go over to our shop page, and if we notice, now each of the product images is displaying this heart icon, which users will be able to simply click on in order to add the products to their wishlist. This is very useful as it allows the users to add products in an easier way, without having to open each product page. Also, from the plugin settings, it is possible to further customize this icon. For example, instead of the heart, the plugin also includes some other options for you to choose from. So, let's go back to our plugin panel to see more options. Okay, in this other section, product page settings, you can choose the position of the add to wishlist on the product page. So we can either set it after the add to cart, after thumbnails, after summary, or also use the shortcode. Next, you will see this section, text customization. Through these options, you will be able to customize the different text shown to your customers. For example, the add to wishlist text, product added, browse wishlist, and product already in the wishlist. Finally, the last section of this tab is the style and color customization. Here, first of all, you can choose the style of the Add to Wishlist. For example, textual, button with the theme style, or a button with custom style. Then, over here, as we mentioned previously, you will be able to choose the Add to Wishlist icon. By default, you will find the heart icon selected, but if you open, you will find some other options available for you to choose from. And now that we have reviewed the options available inside this tab, let's move on to continue with the options available in the Wishlist Page Options tab. So let's go over there now, over here, let's click on this tab. 